Welcome back, True Believers and Spectacular Spidey fans, to another episode of Spider-Man PS4 101. Now, I was debating whether or not I should actually make this particular video a Spider-Man PS4 101 episode, because I was planning to do a video on this, which I am doing now, but I was wondering if I should just make a video, or actually make it in this series of Spider-Man PS4 101, and I did decide to make it a Spider-Man PS4 101 episode because of how there is specific information that you may not know that Insomniac Games did provide at E3 and also during D23 in regards to Spider-Man PS4, and specifically what we're talking about here today is the graphics of Spider-Man PS4. Now, there have been videos, one by the awesome Spidey Squad member, Legit MHX, where he compared the trailer of E3 2016 and then the E3 2017 gameplay demo and cut it in the same way to make it look the exact same in terms of the trailer and how the graphics look in each of those videos. But here, I'm really going to break down why the, the game now looks the way it does and also break down the information that Insomniac Games did provide to us in their interviews and also what they have said on Twitter. So, let me say this first because I know everyone's thinking it and I'm gonna prove to you and say to you right now and also give you facts on what Insomniac have said on their Twitter page. The first thing is, the game is not downgraded. That's the biggest thing that you should take away from this is that the game is not downgraded. And if you did see my reaction to the E3 2017 gameplay demo, I was saying when we saw the game again, we were waiting for a full year, and then we finally got more information and footage of the game at E3 2017, and my reaction to it was, what is this game? What is this game? What? Like, they changed everything is because I looked at it, and obviously I didn't think that it got downgraded, but I'm just like, it looks so different from what the E3 2016 trailer looks like. You have to agree with me on that, is that you can think that the 2017 graphics look better than the 2016 graphics, that's fine, but you have to agree that when you saw it for the first time, you're like, whoa, that looks really different from what we saw last year, because the E3 2016 trailer and the PS4 Pro clip were both in-engine slash real-time footage of the game. It wasn't CGI, it wasn't animated, that was actually how the game looks like, and we saw that because in the E3 2016 trailer, we got low gameplay of him fighting, of him swinging, those were all gameplay aspects aspects within that trailer, and then we got the demo, and then we got a full 9 minute demo, and then we see the game, and the, the graphics look totally different in regards to how Spider-Man looks, but then you look at the city, you look at the surroundings, you look at the textures of the suit, and it still looks breathtaking, and even better in certain areas, because of how in the 2016 trailer, when you see him swinging for the first time, and you see the up-close shot of him swinging in the city streets for the first time in the E3 2016 trailer, and that was on a normal PS4, whereas the demo and the D23 trailer were both running on a PS4 Pro. That was on a Pro. But then when you see this trailer for E3 2016 for Spider-Man PS4, you see the shot of him swinging, and it looks great, right? The texture of the suit look realistic. They look fabric-y, because when you see the close-up shot of Spider-Man's face, it looks like really low-key fabric that you would have on a realistic suit that you would make. And also the logo, the white spider logo, on the back of his suit was sticking out on the back when he was about to flip off the building. It was sticking out more, like it was laying on top of his costume instead of how it was like embedded in the costume it was actually like a structural architecture piece that was on top of the suit and then when you see in the 2017 demo where you see the close-up shot of the front logo and the back logo it still has that kind of popping texture but it, they kind of decreased it a little bit and also when you see him swinging it looks gorgeous the fabric of the suit looks great but and you look at the demo where he's on the helicopter trying to pin that tail of the helicopter onto the wall you see the wrinkles in the suit, and also when he's fighting Mr. Negative on the helicopter, there's these little wind wrinkles in the suit because of how the wind is blowing in the suit, and the, the suit's all wrinkling around inside of it because of the wind blowing on the suit, and it looks gorgeous. And it's so cool that they added that much detail inside of the costume just for fighting a villain on top of a helicopter. And you see that too with Mr. Negative, like his ties flying around, and his, his jackets, his suit jackets just kind of blowing in the wind. And same with Spider-Man's suit, you see the wrinkles flowing in the suit, which I think is a great detail. And also, in the 2016 trailer, you get the close-up shot of the Inner Demons, and you see their masks. They look very, very vivid and very practical in regards to how the mask is. They look very smooth and very defined, whereas in the 2017 demo, we see the up-close shots of their masks, and they look kind of more painted on, I would say. Like, they look like a mask, and then they just have the white paint on them. But then we see in the 2016 trailer, the masks are more defined. They're more kind of lenient. They are way more kind of vibrant. They pop out more with their textures and their smoothness. Same thing with Spider-Man's suit. And one thing that I noticed really off the bat when seeing the graphics for the game again is that you see the white gloves or the white kind of fabric parts on his hand and the kind of like 
the the bare knuckle brawling gauntlets that he has on in, on its on his fists and we see that same thing in the E2 2016 trailer and it looks more metallic in the 2016 trailer whereas here it still looks a bit metallic but it looks a bit more kind of like toned down it looks a bit more fabricy now but in the 2016 trailer it totally looked metallic it looked it looked like a material that you would actually have to incorporate within a fabric of a costume that it, that was not a cloth it was like a, like a hard structure so now this in the 2017 demo it looks a bit more like a cloth that's embedded within the costume that that's the same thing with the logos and also when we mainly see the city the city is also a big part of it because in the demo it was great because we saw birds flying by in the city we saw cars and pedestrians walking by and it just looked a, like a really vibrant packed city and it looked incredible it looked super super well well rendered and everything like that and the textures and the pop-in there wasn't any like far frame pop-ins it was it was all seamless and smooth and a great transition from how it looked when he was swinging to going after the helicopter but then we see in the 2016 trailer with that one swing and then there's this super cool like outer blur motion effect that you see where the city kind of zooms out while you zoom in on Spider-Man to make it seem like a vaster city, like to make it seem bigger. And then they try to still incorporate that within Spider-Man PS4, which we saw in the 2017 D23 behind the scenes trailer, where we see that new little shot of him swinging really fast. And you see the same thing with the city buildings in the background, where it's zooming in on Spider-Man, but zooming out on the buildings to make it more grand, to make it the, the vastness of the city more huge and more vibrant and make it seem like, yeah, this city's going to be big. Because what they said is that Spider-Man PS4's New York City is going to be four to six times bigger than Sunset Overdrive, which is absolutely crazy. Just seeing the vastness of the city, seeing how big it is, seeing how far we can explore in this Manhattan, it's going to be crazy to explore, and seeing how the graphics of the city look really well rendered and well showcased. And I think, in my opinion, the city and the pedestrians and the people with the close-up shot of Mr. Negative look great. They look way more improved than what we saw in the, the 2016 PS4 Pro Clip and the 2016 gameplay reveal. I think the city looks much better than how we saw last year. However, I still believe that the 2016 suit is much better looking than the new one. I still love how the graphics looks because, again, to reiterate what Insomniac Games have said on Twitter is that the game is not downgraded. It That's the biggest point that you should take away from this is that the game is not downgraded. They didn't downgrade it at all. It's just that, first off, the E3 2016 trailer and the PS4 Pro Clip were both showed in the sunset time, like in the late evening or in like the early evening of the game. Like you see sunset, it's like more orangey in the sky, you know, like it's a bit more later in the day. Whereas in the demo, it's full on daytime. The skies are blue, clouds are going around, and it looks great. But you also have to keep in mind the big aspect and why it looks really different to what we saw last time is because the trailer and the PS4 Pro Clip were in the sunset time of day, and then the demo was in the daytime, the actual day of the demo, and that has a big input on why the suit looks a bit more kind of plasticky or shiny. It's because of the time of day. And they wanted to show that because of how they wanted to show how there's a day-nighttime cycle in the game, obviously, and also just showcase how their game looks running on a PS4 Pro in the daytime, and it looks great. And again, it has a big big impact on how the game looks because of how they said in interviews that they changed the textures of the suit and they also have improved on the graphics with the graphic style because of how we saw in the 2016 trailers that everyone was thinking that Sucker Punch was going to make the Spider-Man game. And then we saw the E3 2016 trailer and it's like even though it showed it was Insomniac making the game, it's like you could have said that it was anyone else making the game, like Naughty Dog or Sucker Punch, and people still would have thought that, oh yeah, that game is from Naughty Dog and or Sucker Punch, which is why, like, I was still expecting when they were revealing the game, like, I'm, like, they showed Insomniac, I'm like, okay, this, there's not, gonna, Spider-Man's not gonna happen, which I'm super upset about, and then it showed Marvel, and then I flipped out, and then it's like, it's Spider-Man, and then we got the reveal of him jumping on the wall, and it, like, oh my god, and it just, like, I literally, because I said a million times, I cried when they showed the trailer, because of how beautiful it looked, and how this is, like, the Spider-Man game I've been dreaming for my entire life, and it turns out, oh, well, it's not from Sucker Punch, it's from Insomniac, but you could have fooled me, because it just looks like how a Sucker Punch game would look like. And now, turns out it's Insomniac, and they are using their own graphic team style of concept and how they want to input their own unique style of art into the game and showcase how great it looks because of how in the E3 2016 trailer was a PS4 standard. It was a standard PS4. Now in the demo, it's a PS4 Pro. But, as you can see now, we got a close-up shot of Mr. Negative and a close-up shot of Miles Morales, and now it looks very similar now 
to Sunset Overdrive, which is their first ever big open world game. And you can see there the, the kind of facial details of the characters in Sunset Overdrive now look very similar to Spider-Man PS4 style of graphics because we get the close-up shot of Miles and the close-up shot of Mr. Negative. That's not to say it's bad, that's to say it's really good looking. It looks even better than Sunset Overdrive now, it's just that also it means that they can keep improving, because like they said in interviews, they're going to keep improving, keep adding, keep updating 24-7 on everything that they have in their game, and it's going to look great, and this is all a early build, because of how obviously the game isn't released yet, so that means that they keep working on the game, the game's going to release in 2018, so everything that we have seen up to this point is just still an early build of the game. It's like, I would say, either really later on alpha, or really middle of the beta stage. I think it's the middle of the beta stage, but let me know what all you guys think in the comment section down below. I still think, though, that, again, we saw with the trailer and the demo, behind-the-scenes trailer, and that really high-resolution screenshot of Spider-Man, that's not even a concept art. That's not, like, a, a big production CGI thing. That is the graphics of the game. That that really cool up-close screenshot of the high-resolution image of Spider-Man, and also the behind-the-scenes part where the animator's behind the computer, and you see the up-close shot of Spider-Man just standing still. That looks incredible. You can see in the eyes and the texture of the suit looks super vibrant. They pop out. They look great and same thing with the high resolution image it just looks like a really well detailed game and again if you think the graphics are downgraded don't because again Sonic is going to keep updating this every single day and they will make sure that it looks just like how it looked in the E3 2016 trailer in terms of how the suit looks because again the suit in the 2016 trailer looks more like a fabric touch it looks more cloth like whereas now in the 2017 demo it looks more plasticky it looks kind of shiny and it looks like the stitching is different but that also has to do with the textures of the graphics because they changed the textures of the suit while they were working on the game and also the city though looks gorgeous the city is like the most beautiful thing in this game you see the birds in the sky you see his suit wrinkling and you see the the villains even the henchmen of the inner demons you see their suits like flow in the background their their suit jackets are kind of flowing while they're trying to fight spider-man and the heavy inner demon as well he has a really great detailed mask and just the effects of the negative particles where mr negative shoots the negative lightning at spider-man and the destruction of all the city buildings that are being destroyed while you're going after mr negative in that parkour scene it looks great and this whole game just looks like a masterpiece. It's really strange, though, because Mark Cerny, who's mainly the technical head of Sony in regards to the PlayStation platform, like how they make the consoles of PlayStation, how they update them, and what's the future for the PlayStation console. When he was at the PS4 Pro event in 2016, in September, he was talking about Spider-Man, and then that's when we got the PS4 Pro clip, and how he talked about it, like, with, with Spider-Man, is like, it was a groundbreaking game. Like, this is something that's never happened before for any game, but mainly for a character like Spider-Man, because this has never happened for a Spider-Man game before, and the way he was talking about it, his passion towards the game, how it looked, and how, since he's mainly on the team of the PlayStation console, like, how to improve the console, it was like, he sounded so proud, he sounded so happy, showing, like, the texture that's super breathtaking, and that this is a Spider-Man game that we've never have seen before in terms of graphics. These first images are from Marvel's Spider-Man game, developed by Insomniac and announced at E3 this year. The detail of the city is incredible. Minute features such as the pedestrians in the distance would just be blurs on an HDTV set, but here they are crisp characters. As for Spider-Man himself, the texture of the suit is breathtakingly clear in a way that it could never have been before. But then, when E3 2017 was going around, and he was being interviewed again by someone who was working for Sony, he asked directly about Spider-Man, and then he responded in a way that made it sound like he was still excited for the game, but it didn't seem like he had that same enthusiasm that he had last year at the PS4 Pro event when he was talking about the graphics. Another game we're all looking forward to is Spider-Man. What is the team at Insomniac Games saying about how they're planning to leverage PS4 Pro? I'm actually spending a, a lot of time with the Insomniac team. It's a pretty similar relationship to what I have with Kojima Productions, so I've seen quite a bit of Spider-Man. I don't want to diminish in any way what they're doing for the pro. It's great, but their number one focus is on gameplay innovation within the Spider-Man universe. For example, how does Spider-Man fight? And certainly with his incredible speed and agility, and of course his webs, there's the potential for a whole different style of combat than you've ever seen before. Getting back to your question about specifics on PS4 Pro. They're using a forward-looking technique called temporal injection that lets them efficiently support 4K displays. The display buffers they're using are, are 2160p, so it's full-on 4K, and they can then scale down those buffers to create very clean and high-quality graphics for 1080p HDTV honors. Does that mean that it got downgraded? Does that mean that he is just like, he saw a lot of it and he's like, he's kind of run down by it? Or like, does that actually mean like, he now feels a bit upset seeing how the game looks now compared to how it looked last year? Does he think that it looks downgraded? I personally do not think the game looks downgraded, but my one gripe is that the eyes. When you see the eyes in the 2016 trailer when he's on the wall, 
perfect because the black lenses are like the exterior and then the white lenses they zoom in and out zoom in and out zoom in and out that's great because that's the the barrier that's like the perimeter that you can have the eyes stay black in that that eye shape that slit shape and then the white is the thing that can move and zoom in just like in a civil war but when we see the 2017 demo specifically that one part where he's running through that building where the generator is going after him like the indiana jones scene pretty much you see that one close-up shot of his eyes and it's like the eyes are super big and it's like really cartoony looking so i hope that they fix that because again this is a realistic spider-man game this is a realistic take on spider-man this is a grounded story for spider-man and seeing that one little aspect of the eyes where they're kind of going out of his mask you know like they're kind of they're they're expanding too much so hopefully they can fix that little thing in the eyes but again hashtag an insomniac we trust i fully believe that this game will look gorgeous it already looks gorgeous all the effects of the birds in the background the city looking populated the wind affecting the wrinkles in the suit and the facial details of the characters look great so if we saw miles morales and we saw mr negative and kingpin i really hope we can also see what peter looks like soon so those are my thoughts everybody this is another episode of spider ps 411 and i should probably stop saying that this is the end of it because who knows what they're going to show in the future and i can most likely do more episodes of it with more information down the line so once again thank you so much for watching everybody stay spectacular spy fans peace out